Hello and welcome to the Cartago showroom in Aulendorf in southern Germany. This is a Malibu camper van, 600 dB, and the starting price is around 50,000 euros. Of course, 50,000 euros doesn't include any extras. So by the time you've had a few extras, such as delivery added on, it will be considerably more. As far as camper vans go, this is a rather standard, basic layout. You've got this rather large bed at the back. Under it, you've got slats. And under here, this will go up and down, depending on your requirements. Where Carthago does stand out is this. You can see under here, you've got a wardrobe to the left and additional storage down there uh, to the center and the right as well. And so this is more original. And of course, this one here will open up and will go up as well. If I can get a hold of it. Now you've got additional storage under there. So, and the boiler itself is also under there as well. So that gives a bit of an idea. Oops. And so this comes three parts to the mattress. And let's have a look around it. Storage up here, which has been sloped that way. The, uh, there's lots of things here, which you can see in the Cartago motorhomes, such as these units, these corner units, and uh, also the lift up bit into the wardrobe. So these are features from motorhomes to camper vans, which I think is quite interesting. Also in here, for example, we've got another, uh, so we've got these drawers and a wardrobe. So we've got two little wardrobes in here. Unfortunately, they're not proper, well, at least the walls aren't, haven't been completed. That might be all right for keeping food in, for example. You keep your onions and garlic there, and you keep your clothes there. And that ought to uh, make you very popular when you go out in a campsite. And the fridge here is a standard three-way Dometic fridge. And this is pretty standard as well. Sink, uh, two burners. Uh, but one thing here, which I shall now demonstrate if I can, is that the aisle sort of tapers a little bit. Sort of, I don't know if tapers is the right word, but uh, this is at a at an angle and these things come out quite nicely. So the drawers are longer at that end than at this end. So that's a positive thing. What I don't like is this toilet. The toilet kind of slides in and out. And uh, also we've got a tambour structure. Let's put the lights on if they're working. They are. And uh, so you've got this tambour structure here. I'll get inside and I'll show you this. Yeah, can you see that? Now, uh, that's not too bad, actually. I do like sliding doors, but I like them on the outside. And if it were on the outside, I wouldn't have any problem with it. Because I do appreciate this van is only six metres long. And therefore, you can't really expect too much of a washroom. Uh, this comes across here like that. There you go. You can't see me in the mirror now. The point of that is to stop the water going there. I think that's a bit unnecessary, in my opinion. And we've got this bit here as well, which drops down to there. The point of that is to stop the toilet getting wet. And the toilet slides in and out. So we release it and it comes in and out for when it's needed. I I'm a bit worried that that would break after a while. But anyway, so far, I haven't heard of any of them breaking in Malibu. I've heard of them breaking in other things. Indeed, I filmed at, uh, at uh, Dusseldorf, Frankia models, where they were broken in some rather expensive motorhomes, posh motorhomes, very upper-class motorhomes. Very unfortunate. Anyway, so in here we've also got bit of storage as well. Unfortunately, they, all the vans here have this uh, toilet in the wet room in them. Right, coming up here to the front, 
quite standard. You've got the, the table, which isn't bad at all for a vehicle, uh, which is six meters, and the forward facing bench, and here are comfortable chairs. This vehicle's on a six gear auto uh, manual uh, gearbox. Oh, and they've got a television up there as well. Extension to the kitchen, indirect lighting. So it's got lots of, lots of things which are quite nice. Up here as well, very nice finish in my opinion, which looks rather, doesn't look camper up varnish at all. And you've got a little bit of storage up there. In fact, you've got far more storage than you normally get in the bulwark of a van. The price for that, of course, is, your, is headroom. There, you can see it's got a Truma heating. And it's uh, there, you've got your, you can see your 12 volt. You can see which water you've got, what your electricity state is, state of your batteries, etc. Right, and of course, as you'd also expect, Fly net there. Let's go and have a look at another one. Six forty LE. This one's six hundred thirty-six centimeters in length and costs in excess of sixty-three thousand euros. Uh, nearly all of these uh, longer ones have longer beds in the back. So we have here this much longer. Bed. So the extra 37 centimetres have been used for this because the other one's 599, I'll say 6 metres, but it's 599 centimetres. So that's what they've done with this. They give a bed which is longer, and indeed here, though, you've got a much larger wardrobe. Same toilet in here. And this is the same as well as is this. Oh, I didn't show this earlier. There, this big storage area under there. Here we have what they've called a coupe. I haven't quite understood why it's called a coupe, but uh, a six meter van, which costs also just over 63,000 euros. This thing here has got uh, this rather large bed at the back. Very similar to the first one. Oh, quite honest, I think I prefer this one. This was brought out in 2019. At the time, I looked it up. Why is it called a coupe? And I forgot what the definition of a coupe is. Right, here we have the, I suppose the star here now. This thing here will cost 75,000 euros. Uh, it's very flash looking. But, uh, it's got a two room concept, which is that you can, sort of open, leave the, the, the wet room door open and sort of extend it out a bit. Uh, up there, tent in the roof, there's the ladder. This bit is somewhat similar, but here, once more, very nice uh, shelving and uh, uh, drawers. Uh, same way of getting into the um, wardrobe. And here is a rather, complicated toilet with an explanation of how to make the uh, changing room work. Anyway, but it's also got this uh, tambour door way of doing things. But you can see that in more detail in another video. Alright, so she'll know. 
go back to the one I started off with, show the rear. On the left, we have the gas cupboard and we've got a stack of storage here, should that be needed. You can, of course, put these things up and this will go up as well. Very light, that one. And as I said earlier, there's the boiler. So you've got quite a lot of storage in there. Lashing straps as well. So that's uh, this vehicle. Malibu van 600DB. And I hope you found that of interest. There's more, uh, inf there may be more information below in the description. Sometimes I forget things and that is why the description is there. So you can actually consult that as well. So there may be more information in the description. Thanks very much for watching and all the best from Germany.